Hi, I'm Dr. Rochelle Ford, the new president of Dillard University. Today, I would like to invite you to write your own legacy. What does that mean? As you write your legacy, take the opportunity to activate your commitment. Activating your commitment means being excellent in every facet of the Dillard University experience. Whether you're a student, an employee, an alum, a supporter, commit to elevating Dillard University. Commit to making sure that our legacy continues as an institution that produces leaders. Thank you for supporting Fair Dillard, and we will continue to be in partnership. I will see you soon. One of my favorite times of year at Dillard University is the annual holiday concert when we get to hear the University Concert Choir in Lawless Memorial Chapel. A diverse set of voices, rich, smooth, and resonant. Each student works hard and tirelessly to present the greater New Orleans community with a magical sound that makes everyone forget their troubles for a night while helping them appreciate the reason for the season. As the son of a vocal music teacher, I know that every member has their own style, their own voice, their own approach to being a great singer. But in order to deliver a quality performance, each member of Dillard's legendary concert choir has to work together and they have to follow a plan. My name is Eddie Francis and I serve as Dillard University's Head of Communications and Marketing. I'm proud to present to you the university's new brand identity campaign, Write Your Legacy. For one year, we embarked on a journey to understand the best way to express what makes the Dillard experience valuable. Through qualitative and quantitative research and collaboration with a group of nationally renowned marketing and branding experts, we developed the brand guidelines that show the best way to communicate the value of the Dillard experience. Like the University Concert Choir, each one of us in the Dillard community has our own approach to talking about the value of the Dillard experience. The brand guidelines provide direction for ensuring that our individual voices work together so that the national community can hear one beautiful sound. That's the purpose of this video, so let's get started. First things first, go to www.dillard.edu slash communications and click brand resources for our brand guidelines. Fair warning, it is over 40 pages of information, so we'll use this time to cover the most important parts. So let's start off by defining what a brand is. A brand articulates a product or services identity. While most people associate a brand with a slogan, a logo, advertising, or the packaging of a product, it's way more than that. A brand is the promise made to customers. An organization's collective personality, the messages an organization sends to its customers, and how those messages are sent, it's even how people treat each other inside the organization, and much more than that. In other words, a great brand is built from the inside out. It's what customers experience when they interact with a product or a service. Our goal in doing this brand refresh was to determine the best way to communicate Dillard's value to the people we serve in a clear, concise, and unapologetic way. The foundation of our brand strategy was to start with the mission and vision statements. From there, we determined who we're talking to. So as a university, we serve several communities. We broke the Dillard community up into three groups. First, there are current Blue Devils, students, faculty, staff, members of the boards of trustees, alumni, and donors. That's us. In order for this to work, we have to remember that we are the choir and we set the tone for what the external community experiences from Dillard. Second, we have future Blue Devils, prospective students and their families, personal influencers, and college search partners. 
These folks are making decisions about attending Dillard or they're making recommendations about attending Dillard. It's our job to inspire them to be part of our community and to build on a proud legacy. Third, beyond Blue Devils. That would be higher education peers, research and university partners, media outlets, New Orleans, the state of Louisiana, the nation, employers, supporters, fans, people from other parts of the world. Our job is to demonstrate that Dillard is a higher education leader. We can use stories of successful alumni, talk about our knowledgeable and skilled faculty, share inspiring student stories, institutional rankings and accomplishments, and definitely student outcome data to really, really talk to this group. So when you're communicating with these folks, what do you say? Well, you can start with the campaign theme, honestly, by saying Dillard is where you can write your legacy. Let's break down what this means so that it's not just words coming out of your mouth. Our research showed us that ultimately Dillard is about community, uplifting others through high standards of self. In focus group discussions and surveys, terms such as family-like environment, proud, and resilient best describe Dillard's personality. The statement that resonated most with survey respondents about the value of the Dillard University experience is Dillard creates a family-like environment. Okay, you wanna hear something interesting? If you listen to the Project Dillard episode of Malcolm Gladwell's wildly popular revisionist history podcast in 2021, he said, quote, historically black colleges have managed to take that community feeling and translate it into an effective academic culture, <laughs> end quote. So guess what, Dillard? This is what we do. This is how we build leaders. Now, let's say that you're in a conversation with the parent of a prospective student and that parent asks, write your legacy. What does that even mean? Understandable question. Well, you can continue the conversation by saying something like this. You know, people succeed when they are their best selves. And many Dillard alumni will tell you that that sense of connection that they built on the Oaks, it helped them realize that they can make an impact in the world. All right, so now I can hear some of you saying right now, Eddie, what about the academic programs? When are you gonna talk about that? Well, see, that's where you come in. Think of our invitation to students to write their legacy as the portal that leads them to figure out, with your help, how they can use their respective academic programs to act courageously to make the world a better place. So if you're on faculty, think of it as an admissions officer, bringing that student to you. They've already given them the brand statement and you give them specific information about the benefits of your academic program. Now, let's go deeper into the logic of the messaging. On page 14 of the brand guidelines, you will find a very helpful tool for adding context to the Dillard experience. It's our message map. The message map prioritizes the most important messages for telling Dillard's story, and it illustrates the relationship between attributes and benefits. In other words, it lays out what Dillard offers and what our students get out of their relationship with Dillard. Start at the center of the map, where the core value proposition is stated. By the way, the value proposition is also known as a brand promise, because that is our promise to the people we serve. Then, from there, identify appropriate secondary messages and proof points. Our research led us to establish four pillars to build our messaging on. One, the academic experience, also the New Orleans experience, a third thing is the cultural experience, and finally, the community experience. Now, do you have to memorize the message map? No. Do you have to memorize the value proposition? Not word for word, but our brand choir should be able to sing together that Dillard, and I'm gonna take the liberty to paraphrase right now. Dillard offers students the chance to be their best selves. In return, our students get inspired and build connections to make a difference in the world and be unapologetic about it. Remember, the way to make Dillard stick in people's minds is to own what our folks have already told us they find valuable about the Dillard experience. Another way to make the message stick 
is to make it more human. On page 16, you will see terms that, based on our research, best describe Diller's personality traits to drive the way we communicate with our people. We don't have to cram all of these personality traits into one conversation or message. In fact, to borrow a line from a famous sci-fi movie series, search your feelings. Determine how your approach to messaging aligns with a personality trait. On pages 18 and 19, you will see our brand narrative and a breakdown of it. Again, this isn't something that we need to memorize, but it provides thoughts and language to help us talk about the value of the Dillard experience. Do feel free to work parts of the narrative into any editorial writing, a marketing copy for your area, or work it into just your regular everyday pitch about the Dillard experience. In fact, the communications and marketing team has already started using some of this language in university articles. On page 20, you see headlines to help you guide during your writing and even public speaking opportunities. And then also headline constructions on page 21. Again, this is for guidance, not to be used as is if not needed. Probably the most important items for us to pay attention to about writing are the best practices found on page 22 and the voice and tone checklist on page 23. Our guidance for artwork has some pretty intricate elements. So much of this will be handled by the communications and marketing team or those who are proficient at graphic design. Graphic design is visual communication. So be aware that if you decide to tackle a design, it should communicate the Dillard brand with the same sense of consistency as verbal communication. Pages 25 through 27 have our new fonts. In case you cannot access them on page 28, you will find free alternatives. Pages 32 and 33 contain the new color palette and sample color combinations. For the record, Dillard's official colors are royal blue and white. Green was added to the official institutional mark as an accent color, so it's not necessary to include it in all designs. Pages 35 through 39 contain graphic elements to be used including historical bitmaps, textured patterns, collages, and a great new addition to Dillard's graphic design scheme, the D container. These elements communicate the love for legacy that our survey respondents expressed. There is guidance for photography on pages 41 and 42. Photography plays a very important role in expressing a brand identity. A picture can be a powerful expression of a brand. So the photography that we use for Dillard should be selected with intention. We favor photography that captures people authentically. It's nice to have poses, but it's even better to have people in genuine moments. You might have noticed that lately, we have used posed pictures sparingly in our marketing. Now I know what some of you may be thinking, just don't use photos of students who graduated. Well listen, this is more about communicating thoughts and attitudes that make the Dillard brand come to life than it is about people in the pictures, unless the picture being used is about the actual person in a story. With our images, we want to express three specific things to amplify the Dillard brand. One, critical thinking, something that is prominent in our institutional identity and an extraordinarily important part of a liberal arts education. Two connection, that expression of community that so many of you see as a valuable part of the Dillard experience. And three, joy. Blue devils all over the world tell us time and time again that even through the rough times, they enjoyed their Dillard experience. The last section of the brand guidelines, starting on page 43, contain ideas for creating marketing items. Again, the vast majority of this will be the responsibility of the Office of Communications and Marketing, but we know that other areas produce items, so please partner with us to ensure that we are singing the same song. One last item. Our institutional marks remain the same, so let's review what those are. The mark or logo that you see on your screen is our primary institutional mark. An alternative, which is very much acceptable, is the word mark, Dillard University appearing without the crest. The third mark is the athletics logo, or the spirit mark. It is very important to remember that the DU shield should always be accompanied by the name Dillard Blue Devils or Dillard. 
finally, is the latest addition to the family, we call it the Dillard Badge. Just remember, we don't want to use the badge to replace the primary mark or the word mark. For various versions of these marks, guidance on how to use them, and files for you to download, go to dillard.edu slash communications and go to the branding resources page. Hey, this is a great time to be a Blue Devil. We have a clear, concise way of expressing what makes the Dillard experience valuable, the opportunity to write your legacy. But the only way this works, and the only way to make this memorable to current Blue Devils, future Blue Devils, and beyond Blue Devils, is by working together. So let's partner. For questions or guidance, please feel free to contact the Office of Communications and Marketing at University Editor at dillard.edu or 504-816-4800. Thank you so much for watching. Let's make beautiful music together.